Hey, what's going on? So if you want more interest in offers in college recruiting, then you need to prove that your kid really is the real deal, that they are the perfect player that college coaches need and are looking for. You know, like in court, they say you have to prove beyond a reasonable doubt to get someone guilty, right? In the same way, you need to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that your kid is the best and only option for college coaches. Because if they're not, then why would they pick your kid? They're just gonna go get someone else, right? So you need to prove that your kid is literally the best option for those college coaches because this is a big deal, right? For a college coach to give you a $50,000 scholarship and to give you a spot on their team when they only have so many to give, that's not a small thing, right? So they're probably not gonna give that to you after getting one email from you and watching three of your videos, right? They're gonna need to see a lot more than that. So take a look at this. So it typically takes 10 or more interactions with a college coach in order to get a scholarship, right? It's not gonna be one or three interactions. It's gonna be like 10 or more because you have to remember that college coaches feed their family by their ability to recruit good players. Right, so when a coach is at a university, they have lots of different responsibilities. They have to recruit players, they have to coach their own team, there are school events, like there's a lot of stuff on their plate. But a huge piece of why they get paid is to recruit good players that are gonna help their team and their program win games and win championships, right? Just logically speaking, that's what it's all about. So if a coach recruits bad players and the team underperforms and doesn't play well, then the coach is going to get fired. That's what happens. That's the reality of the situation. So it is critical that these coaches recruit players that are good and that are going to help them win games. And that is incredibly hard to do when there's hundreds of thousands of players out there and they have to sift through and find the few that are going to actually help them win games. That's a very challenging task and that's hard to do. And so they cannot take a flyer or a chance on your kid. They wanna be absolutely sure that your kid is the best option that they can find. That's it. That's what they're looking to do. They have to be sure. So they can't take a chance on your kid and just whip out scholarships and opportunities and spots for anybody. They want to be absolutely sure. So a coach isn't going to see one video of your kid and then give you a scholarship. Like it's not going to happen. They're probably going to need 10 or more interactions with you before they even start considering it, let alone give you one. And an interaction can be any sort of impression, okay? So it could be that they watch your video, it could be that they read your bio on Twitter, it could be that uh, it's through an email conversation, or maybe even on Twitter it's that they saw, you know, a post of you, or maybe you DM'd them, it could be texting or phone calls, it could be watching you in person at a showcase or a camp or a tournament or something like that, it could be calling your coach and getting a, a recommendation or a referral, it could be bringing you on a visit, right? The, there's lots of different ways that you can get impressed impressions with college coaches. And the more impressions that you get from them, the more invested they're going to be in you and the more confident they're going to be that your kid really is the perfect player for their team, right? And this is why it is critical that you are everywhere, that they see you everywhere. It's why you don't just send emails, but you also post on Twitter, why you're also on YouTube, why you're also calling coaches and texting coaches, why you're also having your coach give recommendations and referrals, why you're also going to showcases and camps. Like you need to be everywhere, no matter where a coach turns. He's like, man, that kid again? I've seen that kid over and over again. Because think about it, would you rather recruit, put yourself in the shoes of a college coach, would you rather recruit a player that you have seen 50 times or a player that you've seen five times? Like which one are you gonna be more comfortable recruiting? The one that you've seen more. And so this is why it is critical that you are everywhere, that they see you as many times as you can possibly send. So for instance, like this is an example, right? Let's say that you send an email to a college coach. They don't know who you are. You send an email to a college coach, then they watch your video, right? And they like your video. They're like, okay, maybe there's something here. So they follow you on Twitter, right? Then they go through your Twitter. They watch a couple more videos, or maybe they go back to the YouTube channel and they watch more videos there. So then they call your coach for a referral and they say, hey, I'm looking at video from this player and it looks pretty good. Can you validate and confirm that they really are a good player? Are there any red flags, any warnings I need to know about? right? So then that passes and your coach gives you, you know, a good recommendation. And so they say, Hey, you know, I'd love to hop on a call with you as the player, right? And say, you know, 
can we talk? I just want to learn a little bit more about you. So then you talk to the coach on the phone. So then they say, okay, maybe it's worth our time to come watch the kid play. So they come watch your kid at a tournament or a showcase or a camp, right? Then after that, they go, okay, let me go back and watch the video again. Cause now I have a better context of like what this looks like in person. And so now let me go watch even more via video, right? And then they text you and they're just checking in with you. And then they call you again, right? And then maybe they call another one of your coaches or that same coach to get a little bit more information. And then finally, they're like, you know what? Okay. I think that we should meet this family. I think we should bring them on for a visit. They get you on a visit and then maybe they offer you, right? That's 13 impressions right there. And a lot of times what actually happens is that there's like a lull in the middle where after you've generated interest from a coach, there are multiple months that go by where the coach is still trying to recruit you and evaluate you and figure out if you're the good fit for his team. Right. And so that usually happens over like many, many, many months in those many months, you might rack up 10, 20, 30, 40 impressions with a coach over that period of time. 13 would be like pretty short, right? It would actually be pretty short. And so there are probably going to be lots of follow-ups that take place. And your thought should be, how can I just get more impressions and more interactions with the coach? Cause the more interactions that you get, the more confident they're gonna be that, oh yeah, okay, this is really the player that we're looking for. You cannot rush the process. Like I see families all the time, they're like, how do we just get this over with as quickly as possible? Listen, you're gonna have a hard time get, reaching success in college recruiting with that mindset. Because honestly, this is a huge decision for college coaches. It's almost selfish to, and disrespectful, honestly, to assume that they should give you a $50,000 scholarship after having one conversation with your kid. Like you haven't earned that. Like you have not earned that scholarship yet. And so that's why this is not going to happen for 99% of players. You have to make it unbelievably clear that your kid is the best and only option. You have to show it over and over and over and over again until the coach feels like they would just be stupid not to recruit your kid at this time, right? It'd be like, oh my gosh, it just wouldn't make any sense. It makes significantly more sense to recruit your kid and give them a scholarship than to not do that. That's where you have to get to. And if you're not at this point yet, then you have to give them more evidence. You have to get more impressions. You have to get more interactions. You have to prove to a college coach that beyond a reasonable doubt, your kid is the best and only option for their team. And if you're not at that point yet, you have to get to that point because that is where you're gonna actually move relationships forward and turn the interest that you get into real scholarship offers. So please understand that this is a really big deal for college coaches. This is going to be what puts them over the edge and gets them to actually give you that scholarship, okay? If you like this video, go watch a few more. There's on a channel and I'll see you guys next time.